Welcome to the house of stress. <laughs> we now have three nuts, what? Tall Lugs. nuts, yeah. lugs, whatever ever attached to our wheel. And to ensure that you get notified of our future adventures, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon you'll get notified. Thank you very much to our patrons. It's your support that make these videos possible. It's been, um, it's been a day of lying, sitting around, trying to get a towing truck or somebody to help us. Um, we, we finally got hold of a guy who will be able to help us. What's happened is three lugs have broken off, two are kind of stripped, one is loosening the whole time and now I'm gonna Head towards the campsite, which is about 300 to 400 meters away from here. It's stressful times. I don't have any more nails. Let's do this. So, average speed for the last two kilometers has been about five, five kilometers. Zero. Hour. One. It's really idle. I'm so scared. Unnecessarily stressed. We can camp wherever uh, we okay. want to. It's just more convenient in the campsite. So we were at the clinic where, where the only Wi-Fi reception is for the um, 50 square kilometers, and and now we're driving to the campsite. It's just more convenient. We don't need to stress too much. Our wheel has once fallen off. Yeah. At ice. Yes. 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 Now, yeah, we now, also don't want to do it at low speed. Yeah, no, low speed. Now it's gonna maybe happen at low speed, but yeah, we're nearly there. Nearly there. We've crossed, <laughs> driven around the mountain. Around a, a copy. Um, but yeah. Oh, good news! We might find four other stone men. Yes, yeah, we've heard rumors that uh, this is the source of the stone men. Yes. So, um, we are with. Um, if the, if the wheel didn't fall off, we wouldn't have come here and we wouldn't have heard that there's more stone men. Yeah, stone so crumbles. always look at the bright side of life. Stone, scorpion, I'm going to have a glass of wine and a beer. Okay, campsite. Yeah, okay, so let's see. The next day was spent waiting for the nurse from the clinic to bring us back some wheel stubs from a pool as he was going there for the weekend. And luckily Ben, a fellow camper that was very handy, could then show us how to remove the wheel and how it actually gets put together. Thank you very much Ben for the advice and the patience for getting up extra early to show us before you guys hit the road. Your advice gave us a lot of confidence as we now knew how everything was put together and how to insert the new stubs when they arrived. The fact that we didn't have internet and couldn't ask our friend Google or look at YouTube videos of how things worked made it more difficult for us, people that were so used to consulting YouTube when it comes to mechanical problems and learning how to do things on our car. Stub escapade. We the good news is we received parts from a pool. The bad news is it's not the right parts. So our plan for this morning is to try and see if the front wheels of the cars and um, the wheel stubs will fit on the back. We're gonna take two off each of the front wheels and move it to the back. The studs. The studs we ordered were too small, they don't fit. Um very disappointing and um, so then we thought we can maybe take two studs from each front wheel and put it on the back so that we can have a full set on the back they didn't work so put the back front wheel back and now we are on plan D um, that is to we took three studs from the back the, on the other side and now we're putting it here so there's gonna be four on this one and three on the other one and then we're going to drive very slowly to Okuwe. Um, we, we're busy pulling the, the studs through. It's quite a labor intensive exercise. Um, it's 7 o'clock at night. I think we got up at 7 this morning. 
So it's been a full work. I've been uh, running up and down for, between here and the clinic for some home reception. Do you have anything to say? I'm sure it's going to work. I've got 100% confidence that our positive attitude and hard labor and the help that we've had from everybody around is going to pull through. And we will make it to Upu where tomorrow or the day after. It is 200 or kilometers. 200 kilometers, 50 hills, lots of corrugation. Will they make it? They will. Will the start to make it? We always make it. So yeah, we will give you an update. Keep on watching. <laughs> the, the action never ends. Status update on day five of the wheel studs. We've now found the right term, wheel studs adventure. Today we started driving slowly back to Upuwa, the closest town. And on the way we saw a Toyota standing and now after half a day we've taken a three extra wheel studs off that vehicle added it to Fudu and we are slowly driving back. We've done 10 k's, we're stopping every 5 k's. Karin is doing her wheel stud check. Um, they are still coming loose for some reason, we're not sure why, and our one brake is getting quite hot, so we think we might have messed up something there when we when we took the wheel off. In total we've taken the wheels off seven times um, to add and remove a wheel stud. And how's it looking Annie? Um, so this time it wasn't as loose as on 190. We're doing a check every five kilometers so I don't know maybe I'm still tightening it but if you took the wheel off let's check even once we reach 180. So the adventure continues. So it's the start of day six, I think, of our wheel stub adventure. Yesterday we did a total of 60 k's. We've got another 65 k's. We've got another 20 k's to do. Wheel stubs are holding so far. Camped in another wonderful spot. This time right next to the road. Um, yeah, we upped our speed from 30 to 50 on the better road. So let's see what the adventure brings. But we're getting closer. How are you feeling, Annie? Confident. Um, the nuts are holding. So, yeah. We are, I think we should reach a pool either today or tomorrow. We do have a break. A hand brake, squeak. <laughs> that may, and a slow um, puncture. Yeah, and a slow puncture, but a very slow one. So, all's good. Adventure on the road. As we slowly got closer to civilization, we started seeing small settlements. Internet reception became available in patches, and the road slowly got better and better, with the Himba villages scattered all around. Karin was also very relieved to see one of her favorite people, the greatest, the guys that smoothed out the gravel roads in Namibia. And we've made it! We have just reached Upuwe, or the outskirts of Upuwe, um, so very grateful for that. 190 kilometers, done and dusted. We've borrowed um, studs, now the boring part starts to get the car fixed so our adventure can continue. The good news is now we've got a reason to go back to Marienfluss. Um, we, we haven't missed much in civilization, it's a bit boring to get back into civilization. Um, the roads are boring, there's signs up, there's suddenly speed limits. Um, but yeah, so now to fix a food, get the studs replaced, then we have to send the ones we borrowed back. So yeah, as we knew wood, we sorted it out. It was interesting, I learned a lot about um, my car, so I'll be able to, to do a lot more in case anything goes wrong in the future. Live and learn and the adventure continues. <laughs> <laughs>
So next time on Fearless on Four Wheels, we do some more bundu bashing to get to another hidden gem, a place that another guy called Ben told us about. It took quite a bit to get there, but it was well worth it. It was a dry waterfall with only baboons and thousands and thousands of birds as our neighbors. After that, we take a refreshing break at a campsite before we head to Itosha National Park, where we do some amazing game viewing of all types of game, the very big ones and also the very, very small ones. But that's a story for another time, so please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.